Good day everyone. This is complete guide about Crooked Creek covered bridge. I started my journey from Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada and took route 114 south. After around 45 minute drive, I came to this village called Riverside, Alberta. Before the center of village, you will find sharp left curve. Turn right from here that marks as Forest Bale Road. There's no sign leads to this bridge anywhere from here. Even provincial government website says this bridge can't be reached presently. Sometimes before there was a sign post uh, says that Crooked Creek Lookout Park, but it's not there right now. So remember Forest Dale Road. Don't forget the name Forest Dale Road. After about one kilometer, you will find parking space. If you go straight further, you will find Lookout, just 300 meters from here. And if you're not sure about driving on a bad road, better park here and start walking. I decided the other way: go maximum by car, then start walking. Let's see how far I can go. You have to take steep downward left turn from this place. There are some signs, but hard to see. There are some uh, average size deep potholes, and especially careful about the rocks, so it can damage your oil tank. If you're willing to drive. Do it really slow. So, what is special about this covered bridge? Uh, it was built in 1945, 93 feet length, and this is the only covered bridge in New Brunswick need hike. And I never been there. Except some uh, really useful web blogs, I have no idea where to go. I'm pretty sure I can make it. Anyway, we'll see. It's time to check my driving skills. So no more talk until I park. This place looks like uh, some kind of private campsite so I decided to park my vehicle here and start my journey by walk beautiful sunny day middle of september you better try this on october it's going to be more colorful for sure so head start from me
after few couple of hundred meters uh, there's another campsite and parking space seriously not maintained well but it looks like this place was busy maybe during summer time Not too bad, isn't it? It's really good for nice walk anyway. I don't have phone signal at the moment, but the nature, weather, it's really nice. It's amazing. It's not bad at all for nice walk. Still, there is no sign about bridge. But I'm 100% sure we will find the lead. Some serious damage I think it's from the hurricane I'm not sure about it but road was blocked before for sure I can see the river from here. Let's try some off-road to see the beauty of floating water. Oh, I think I was too early to get that uh, off-road. I can see fine road leads all the way to river. Okay, we have time. No panic. We'll try this too.
great space for camping. There's a road uh, leading from this uh, river. I'm not pretty sure it's going to be connected to the road I came before. And we will try. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is the road we had to go. And this is the road behind me that's definitely connected to the road I came. Another puzzle, another junction. No boards, no leading signpost. We'll try left first. I think it's leading to river again. Who knows? Maybe it's leading to a bridge. We'll see. We'll find out. Puzzle solved. No bridge here. It's the river. Let's go back. No left turn anymore. Let's go straight. Some beep sounds from my phone. Looks like I got some signals here. 
my map says it's not too far. It's working a little. So we are on the right track. But I want to go for off-road again. Sorry. On my way from Moncton, I bought this the beef jerk, but I never tried before in my life. Let's try to open this and see how it tastes like. Oh, it's really hard to open. Mm, not working. We try my mouth and open the yeah not working mouth yeah finally we'll see this is my first time trying the canadian beef jerk that's really good. It's really nice. Teriyaki beef jerk. Canadian beef. I was a bit scared before because like I thought I'm going out from the river. But uh, like i'm in a mountain right now so i can see the river from my left side so we are joining with river again so that's been we are on the right path even phone maps doesn't work i'm pretty sure we are on the right way i can see another sign from new brunswick uh, the protected wildlife area board blue color the right side we are on the right path i'm pretty sure covered one the covered already gone or it's just narrow 
cloud bridge I don't think this was covered bridge before okay. looks a little bit dangerous but we cross we cross and see bear is a covered bridge Yep, we cross the bridge and I can see another path left hand side of the bridge. Small narrow log bridge. It looks like uh, off road drivers or snowbiles they are using this road without using that uh, old and dangerous log bridge. Okay, let's back to the road. There's still no sign or any direction about covered bridge. Oh wait. I can see a board under that big tree. We'll find out. Maybe some direction about the place we have to go. Our object. Oh sorry, it's it's about some information from Timberland. Okay, we'll figure out. This looks like a camp inside, maybe like barbecue place. We'll see. Go back to the track again. We go march forward. According to my phone GPS signals, we are really, really near. It's really near. We'll see. We'll walk a little bit. Still, I can't see anything. Wow. Wow, it's, it's absolutely hidden. Can you see? It's covered. The covered bridge is covered by trees. Wow. I'm so happy. Fires required permit. Eight tons. I'm pretty sure I'm not eight ton. 
little scary no it's it's really looks great c848 i think it's the number for this covered bridge This is the first time I'm going under covered bridge. Wow, it's really nice engineering work here. It was built in 1945. Maybe some construction done after that. Because like the wood looks new. We'll have a view from far. It's amazing, it's beautiful. I always like to see from the windows of the covered bridges. It's, it's really a strange feeling. Like you can't get that feeling from the other bridges except covered bridges. It's like you are in a home and this is my view. Believe me, it's never never boring. Beautiful. I didn't found any human on the way but I found this little friend frog that's my first frog in Canada I lived here for two years and that's my first frog so we all make it to the end so that's the end of my video thanks for watching I just want to say one thing before I end this video look these things Look what nature gives to us. And on the way, our present to nature. It's really bad to see. I collect almost like one full bag of garbage on my way to car. Some stuffs even I can't take. So if you visit here, please, please, don't hurt mother nature it's really beautiful if you enjoy please subscribe my channel as a help so i will come with another beautiful video like this enjoy life